Good morning. We were supposed to cruise today out of Berkhamstead, but the canal is completely frozen. So it looks like we're here for a bit longer. It's meant to be in minus temperatures all week. So I guess we just see how long this ice lasts. Geese have made a little cut out bit. They keep trying to get that apple. Let's see how thick it is. Quite thick. There it is. Seagull so guy, let them all hen eat it. The seagulls are encroaching. No, let them all hen eat it. Oh, the moorhen's giving it up. No, oh, nobody's had it. <laughs> Never gets old, just seeing ropes and mops get frozen. Wow! You could do some sanding with that. That is solid. Day two of being frozen in and the canal is way thicker today. Look at that. Ready? I'm going to do a hole. I always really like the sound it makes. Sounds like a little laser. I've got a cold today. But we've heard that the fuel boat is coming, so we can stay extra cosy. I don't envy them today though, because those coal bags are like bags of ice when it's this cold. If you haven't seen us having a go on the fuel boat, we'll leave a link up there. I'm quite chuffed to be by the fire. Thickness scale today, about half a centimetre. But this is the thin bit because it's the bit that's right up against the boat. So the middle will be way thicker. But currently, if you can see, someone is using the lock. So the entire ice sheet is moving. And it sounds... Can you hear it? You can see it there moving. And you can hear it cracking and stuff. It sounds quite scary. Yeah. There it goes. People always ask us as well whether you can cruise in ice. You are allowed to, there's just a risk of damaging your boat because it's just chipping away at it. You also have to be very considerate of moored boats because if you go past them you're pushing ice into them. So particularly the fiberglass river cruisers and any wooden boats, you really need to be careful if you're moving in the ice. And also the CRT like spotters, like the two week thing doesn't really apply when it's frozen because it's just not recommended to cruise generally. So if you're frozen, even if your time's up, you can stay, which is what happened to us. We were actually supposed to leave yesterday, but it looks like we're not going anywhere. The only boats that tend to cruise are the fuel boats, keeping everyone warm. And those old boats are, are really, they're better equipped for boat breaking ice than ours. Mm. Fuel boats on its way. It's not cold on the boat by the way, it's just, <laughs> it's actually really warm, it's just that the fuel boat's going to be here in a second, so I can't be able to take my coat off, which isn't really that much effort when I think about it. But... There you go, a little sniffly snot rocket. Excuse me. Oh, nothing like some noodles to make warm you feel sun. better. Here they come. I'm just about here, the ice cracking now.
We're here next. Here they come. No pressure on this driver. Keeping us nice and warm. They've got the butty today as well, so a double whammy. All stocked up again. Thanks Jules Fuels as always. You can tell how warm it is inside though because we just put our kettle on there and it's boiling. Keep me stocked up with tea. Put it on that thing so it stays just off boiling. What's this little spa going on so early in the morning? There's a hot water bottle under there and he's having all the cuddles. I'm not very well so me and Dupes are just chilling in bed for a bit. Day three of being frozen in? Yeah. Dupes, come back. Dupes, that's a pretty nice offer. Come back. No, he says I'd like to wee over here. First. That's it. Come. Come on. Cuddles. Um, nice would it be to perch in a hot water bottle and have a little massage, hey? You just want to run around. Anyways. See ya. See ya. The ice is still pretty thick, and as you can probably hear, Amy's still <laughs> pretty ill. But the cool thing is, is that it's about half four now, and technically the sun only set a few minutes ago, which is nice because we're out of the bit of the year where I clock into work when it's dark and I clock out when it's dark. Because now I've got a good like 20 minutes of daylight. Spring is very slowly getting here, even though the canal is solid. Not really doing anything exciting at the moment though, just I've been working and Amy is resting. It's a nice spot to do that, isn't it? It's currently 5am and it's minus 6. This is I think the coldest we've had it on the boat so far. We had to get up because the fire hadn't gone out. We had we usually close the vent all the way. It hadn't gone out. There's loads of coal in there, but it just wasn't hot enough. So we've had to put a bit more on and open the vent a bit more. We had to wrap Rufus up in some more blankets. We've been given dupes a hot water bottle. So I'm just going to refill that and reheat that up. It is absolutely freezing. <laughs> Still 10 degrees in Dupes' room, but and he's been in his house where it's warm with straw. But I've just been giving him this extra in case he gets really cold. Right, that's everyone. Everyone checked on. Yes. All tucked in. Where's all tucked in? The pets tucked in. That should last us until morning. Mm. One of the other side effects. Wait, is it what day is it? I think it's day four of being frozen in, and we were supposed to have cruised, which means that we would have done the facilities, but because we haven't moved anywhere, these are pretty full. So we're going to have to go and cart them to get them emptied. <laughs>
<laughs> so there's a guy on TikTok called Tim Hayden, and he goes to a random place, gives clues, and waits for someone to go up to him. And if you go up to him, he gives you a, a watch. He's got 1.7 million followers. I guess where he is? Rickman's with Aquadrome. Literally, we were there not long ago, weren't we? Yeah. About a month ago. But he's we he's been there 56 minutes, and we are 26 minutes away, but I feel like someone will be there by then. I'm still feeling quite rubbish. Someone's found him. We're at the Aquadrome oh, well, in I Rickmansworth. Really. I had it! <laughs> That's where we oh, were! Wow. That's enough excitement now. I've now got to use my lunch break to empty our poo. Given that Amy's still poorly. Hey! <laughs> She's staying here where it's nice and warm. I'm feeling much better, but I'm still really sniffly and my head is just pounding. So, at least I can be out of bed. I've been in bed for like three days straight because if I sat up, my head was just pounding. So I think I can be vertical now at least. You're coming with me there. So normally we'd have to cut these really far when something like this happens, but luckily bears have got their wonderful car. So we're going on another poo run. <laughs> I'll probably pixelate it. It's a little bit worse for wear, and that's because tap's frozen. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even consider that that might happen. So normally you can use like a watering can or something and just use canal water. I haven't got one, and sometimes you can pour hot water on it to melt the ice, but I haven't got any. So, and he's got a small water bottle. I think we're just going to have to refill that over and over again. But it's not ideal. Uh, so I'm just going to use this. So, we've got water, a bottle that had wine, <laughs> and a coffee cup. Oh, lovely. What a luxurious <laughs> rinse. This is strange. Good coffee. Smells <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, definitely worse than normal. If anyone sees this, they're going to be so confused. Is that how boaters get their water? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, it's quite cold on the old hands. When the canal's frozen, we use wine to clean our cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One thing about boaters, though, we are very resourceful. Make do with what we've got around us. Service has been appreciated, wine bottles. Yes. There we go. Mostly clean. It's not ideal, but it will do the job. And we've left it in a better state than the previous attempt from whoever it was before us. <sighs> right, next time we're going to have to remember to bring like a watering can if it's frozen. Amy, you've locked me out. Yeah, Amy locked me out and then went to sleep. <laughs> Two moderately clean cassettes. Woo! We've got to get back to work now. But I just think it's so funny living on a boat because my colleagues would be like, oh, what did you do for lunch? Oh, you know, I watched some telly and I ate a sandwich. Meanwhile, I went, rummaged through some old bins, found some used wine bottles, filled them up with canal water, and then poured them into a box of my poo. <laughs> Back to work. Daily ice thickness check. Trying to get some ice to show you how thick it is, but genuinely, I cannot. This will get through it. Be careful. <gasps> 
<laughs> well, that is thick. I'm not gonna do it because it'll be making do, it. Do do you like what? Just try and snap a bit off. Oh wow! Look oh. how thick that is. No wonder you can't break it. Get that bit. <laughs> no, that bit. That's further out. No, that bit that's loose. Oh, no. oh my god, this is just what's next to the boat as well. The middle will be so much thicker. <gasps> Whoa. That's crazy. That is the thickest I've ever seen it. It'll be way thicker over there as well. Thumbnail. Makes such a cool noise. That's day four, and it's still meant to be frozen for two more days. <laughs> Someone else is bashing the ice. Because the whole canal is just one ice sheet, that could be a boat like five boats up, but we can just hear it. We're all connected. <laughs> Yeah, it could be someone past that boat right on the end. It could be someone just around the corner. It's weird how much the sound travels. Day five in the iced in narrow boat. We're still very much iced in, but I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm out of bed to celebrate. I'm gonna go and um, we're gonna go to Costa on Rufus's morning walk. Oh, if you were wondering as well, Amy did do a COVID test when she got poorly and it was negative so we're all good i genuinely haven't left this boat in five days so it's <laughs> gonna be weird <laughs> it's beautiful it's actually so nice to be back outside I feel quite poorly, I hope I'm going to be better soon properly, but slippy. Oh, it's slippy. Translation. That's black ice. Translation. Amy wants to go and get a hot chocolate, but she also wants to still be looked after later. <laughs> yes. Yay! No. This is my celebration for being better and outside. <laughs> Thank you for looking after me. That's Wins okay. Wes has been really nice. I've been poorly, haven't you? Yeah. But now that's over. <laughs> and I don't have to look after you anymore. <sighs> All sympathy is hereby revoked. I've been a bit worried about the swans not being able to get some any water. So I've put a little dish here with water and oats and a little bit of bread in. But they won't come over to me. Come on, swans, and I don't want to push it out because then I can't retrieve the plastic when the ice melts again. People have been throwing loads of sticks off of the bridge into the ice, which isn't great because that means when it thaws, there's just loads of sticks in the canal, but still very much frozen. Thickness scale for day five. It's definitely thicker and I think it's way thicker in the middle. It's crazy. I've just seen a guy breaking the ice over there and pulling it out and it's got to be at least an inch thicker. It's actually like he was holding it like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Way thinner just from the excess warmth of the boats because we keep rocking and breaking it. Over there it's just crazy. So I woke up this morning and the canal looks like it's defrosted but it hasn't as you can see they're still still in it it's just the top layer has defrosted but it's still very much frozen so we won't be going anywhere today but maybe tomorrow still frozen here and we're all the way back there where it's definitely frozen 
What is it? Oh. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Rufus is confused somewhat by the ice. What is it? Well, I'll stand on it. Oh! Hey then! Oh, it's slipping! <laughs> Rufus on ice. <laughs> <laughs> Should we be teaching him to go on the ice? Probably not. Day six are being frozen in. It's definitely more mild today, but as you can see, the canal is still very much solid. But it's the weekend, and again, this would probably be a time that we'd cruise, but we're still stuck. But I think it is on the way out. You see quite how thick it is. Definitely wouldn't want to cruise through that. We've got our little boat frozen in. Wondered where all the ducks had gone. By the lock, it's basically fully defrosted now. Yeah. Yay. It's so clear that you can see all the trolleys that have been there for ages and are <laughs> fully embedded in the silt. Day seven of being ice dead. Is it day seven or eight? I think seven. It's still. Pretty solid though. So I'm breaking the ice. It's like nine degrees now, so it's not going to refreeze. So I'm breaking it around so that hopefully it melts a bit better. And also, last night we got no sleep because storms on the way, the wind kept blowing us into these little chunks of ice. It was making a bit of a racket and Rufus just wouldn't settle. So I'm hoping that if I break the ice, we can't bang into it anymore. Go on then. But it's still pretty solid. There's a guy, we don't know who he is, but he's a hero. He's pulled up in a white van, so people have been throwing big logs off of the bridge and they've all just been sat on top of the water. And obviously when the ice sinks, they're going to sink and then the boats are going to get stuck on them. It doesn't look like he's from the CRT, but he could possibly be. Um, and he's raking off all the big sticks, which is brilliant. Thank you, sir. He's sleeping. Whilst we were iced in, we had a wonderful visit from my family. We went for hot chocolates, had a little look around the town, and then brought them home so that they could say hello to the pets. A little cup. Where's my Rufus? Just is on Rufus oh, duty, aren't you? I can't remember how long these bits are. <laughs> Yeah. It's like a proper male, isn't it? And of course we had to take them for an escape room. I can't. <laughs> Just finished our escape room. Did you all enjoy it? Yeah. We escaped in 44 minutes. Which was like three off the leaderboard, so we did really good. Minutes and 17 seconds. It was good, it was freezing. And then we rounded off the day at a lovely cosy pub with a couple of drinks and our favourite card game. It's day eight. The ice is thawed. We woke up to a sound of a boat moving and we were like, oh my God, it's thawed. So we literally woke up, got out of bed as quick as we can. And we're moving back to the water point because we need water. And we're heading out for the day and we don't want to miss our chance later. So I'm not even awake yet. Wes is doing some excellent reversing to say that he's not only just, he's only just woke up. <laughs> and yes, yesterday it was the CRT that came and cleared everything off the ice, so thank you CRT. Morning dude, what's happening? I'm straight up with water mate. Water's topped up. Today's the day we are leaving Birkenstead. We've been in this area now for over a month and it's been really wonderful, but the ice is cleared now. So it's time for us to move on at last. Day 
day eight and we are out we are free and we as you can probably tell are finally cruising you'll get to find out where we're going in the next episode thank you so much for watching this and keeping us company while we've been iced in and stuck <laughs> subscribe for even more boaty adventures huge shout out to our patreons we'll see you next time bye <laughs> Huge thank you to our chip pals on Patreon, Short Arse and Caroline, Sylvia, Sue, Perrin and Ash for the chips this week. And tag for the super thanks from Katrine Bohr. See you next time. Bye.